I'm Fabricio Carrijo, I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the Polish Academy of Sciences, where I'm carrying out the project Peace and Conflict Dynamics in Refugee Shelters. I started researching refugee shelters because uh, I was living in the Brazilian, in the Brazilian Amazon region, specifically in the city of Boa Vista, where it is a place with a lot of refugees, you know, like fleeing from Venezuela. That's when I had my first contact with refugee shelters. And then I was very curious about trying to understand how is life inside, inside these places. I have been employing photography in this project because often refugees are represented as speechless human beings, as a victim, or either as a victim or as a threat to society. Therefore, I try to overcome those narratives, also verbal narratives and visual narratives about refugees, portraying them just as a threat or as a victim, as a voiceless body, by bringing them the possibility to present themselves the way they want. When people see the photos of themselves, they look and say, wow, that's me. In fact, in Brazil, something interesting happened. When I was photographing, you know, a refugee came to me and said, wow, this is a miracle camera. And then out of a sudden, when I was walking uh, around the shelter, people told me, hey, I want to I wanna photo as well. Oh, that's the guy with the miracle camera. But I'll tell them, actually, the camera doesn't make any miracles, but the camera it is a tool through which the refugees are able to tell their own stories. So while doing the research in the in one of the shelters in Poland, I have heard so many different stories about uh, the war in Ukraine. You know, like and many are very like appalling. People have lived uh, through so many different types of deprivations of this disrespect of human dignity. I spend a lot of time in sound shelters here in Poland and also in Brazil. And I'm often talking to people who have left their country, not because they wanted to, but because they were forced to. Nobody lives in a shelter because they want. And throughout my field research, I have heard over and over, I don't want to be here. I'm only here because I had no other option. It is fundamental in this process to treat, to consider these refugees beyond this category of only refugees, but actually consider the other as a human being. For those people to talk to me, they need to feel comfortable. They need to be treated as a human being. In fact, often they are not in shelters, you know, and that's one of the many reasons where there are so many tensions and conflicts inside shelters. The Pacific program played a very important role in order to enable me to carry out uh, such an idea because it provided me with the fundamental resources in, in terms of, you know, resources, equipment, uh, time, and a welcoming environment in which I had the freedom to propose a project. I have a great impression of the Polish Academy of Sciences. Since I arrived, I have been feeling like very welcome here. And fundamentally, the Polish Academy of Sciences provides a great environment that enables me to have the freedom to come up for pre uh, with a project, to implement a project, and this is very important. The Pacific program enables scientists, you know, like to travel, to be in different cultural and academic contexts. And this is like fundamental to the development of sciences. 
to the Pacific program, I have been, for example, to a conference in Italy. You know, I have done a lot of field research in different parts of Poland, different parts of Brazil. Traveling this contact, other cultures with other researchers, this is so important. This enables the creation of networks. It enables uh, establishing not only networks, but collaborations. And the future of science is collaboration. It is fundamental uh, to have in mind that us human beings, we are vulnerable beings. We need each other to survive. Therefore, it is fundamental that we are able to think collectively. When you think about the context of refugees, you know, like, we need to go beyond this notion of us and them, the other, the refugee. We need to, to invert the logic from a selfish behavior towards the maximization of individual gain to understand how together, how through cooperation, we can improve the life conditions of the society in general. And by that, everybody wins. <laughs>